Greetings from Barcelona, the cultural center of Spain and a haven for lovers of architecture, art, and culture. Millions of tourists come to this Mediterranean coastal city each year, drawn by its magnificent architecture and rich history to experience its charms for themselves. The city has it all. A laid-back vibe, months of non-stop sunshine and delicious food that make Mediterranean City so endearing. Nevertheless, despite its universal popularity, people frequently misunderstand it, particularly those who fall victim to the common tourist traps. So to help you get the most out of your Barcelona trip, here are the top 10 things to do while you're exploring the Catalan city. Before we dive in, allow me to briefly introduce myself, especially to you new folks tuning in. Hello there, I'm Jay Influencer, and I'm thrilled you're here today. As your dedicated luxury travel consultant, I'm committed to providing you with the latest and most relevant information about the best things to do, the finest restaurants to visit, and the top-notch hotels you should consider staying in across the most intriguing cities and destinations worldwide. However, I welcome disagreements and alternative suggestions, especially if you're a local from Barcelona. Just putting it out there. Now let's get back to the main topic of the video. Number 10, Basilica of La Merced. First up on our Barcelona top activity list is a magnificent Baroque Basilica constructed in the 1970s. Following the Barcelona Cathedral, it's the second church in the city to be designated as a minor basilica. When you first arrive here, the dome will be your first sight, crowned by a representation of the Sacred Lady. The interior of the basilica is arranged in the classic cross shape with tiny chapels honoring Roman Catholic saints positioned along the sides. The nave features two pulpits, Corinthian columns, and crystal chandeliers, among other typical Baroque decorations. There's a statue of La Merced from the 14th century above the main altar. Throughout the 14th and 15th centuries, the basilica's initial Gothic structure underwent remodeling and expansion. Not many people are aware of this, but the present church was constructed atop an earlier medieval one. It was part of a Mediterranean order church and convent complex. But in the 1830s, the monastery building was seized. Number 9. Tosa de Mar Tosa de Mar is a gem of the Costa Brava, offering visitors a gorgeous extending sandy bay and many breathtaking coves that are easily accessible on foot. Its strong walled enclosure, Villa Vela, perched on a cliff overlooking the Mediterranean, is unquestionably an attractive draw for adventurous tourists. Situated in this corner of Spain, Villa Vela is the only remaining fortified medieval place still intact on the Catalan coastline. It's a wonderful location for an afternoon stroll with its turrets, artillery, and vantage points. With its majestic and leafy foliage, it also provides an amazing view from the beach for photos. The iconic walls that give Tosa its enduring and unique aesthetic didn't exist until the Middle Ages. Later centuries saw the town expand beyond the cliffs and the fortified walls. Therefore, there are still lovely townhouses, churches, and cobblestone streets to discover outside the city's fortifications. Number 8. Labyrinth de Horta Park Did you know that Barcelona has a maze? Take a look at Labyrinth de Horta Park, one of the oldest and best-kept secrets in the city. It provides the ideal green space to get away from the city, perched high above the neighborhood center amidst the hills of Horta. The Italian professional Domenico Baguti created the gardens, which were constructed for the estate's owner, Juan Desvalles. A serene garden, a waterfall, plantings, and little plazas were all added by the designer. During its initial years, the area was also used for social events. In the 1960s, the Desval family sold the park to the city council because they could no longer afford to maintain it as their ancestors had. Sadly, the number of guests caused the gardens to deteriorate. In the end, it was agreed to cap the daily visitor count at 750. Number 7. Montserrat The impressive Montserrat mountain range is home to a significant monastery perched atop the peak. There's a lot to do in this mountain range, which gets its name from the Catalan word for serrated mountain. It's also a popular destination for hiking and pilgrimages. The peaks are easily recognized from a distance and rise nearly vertical from the grassy plains that encircle them. In addition, the surrounding terrain is relatively low-lying and the mountain ranges themselves have a lot of jagged edges. There are three ways to get from Barcelona to Montserrat, 
by car, by public transportation, and even by bicycle. You can drive almost all the way up the peak to the monastery's location, from which you'll walk the remaining distance. Additionally, a cable car goes up the mountain. Number 6. Cervantes Park We can tell that Catalans take their parks seriously based on the sheer number of parks in and around Barcelona. That's understandable, though, as they provide a quick escape from the hectic atmosphere, pollution, and city sounds. On the outskirts of the city, Cervantes Park is a stunning rose garden that can be found at the final stretch of Avenue Diagonal. Unlike other city parks, this one doesn't have plenty of trees to provide shade, so it's a great spot to enjoy the sun when the weather gets cold. It's a good idea to visit the palace after your visit to the park. There's a museum there, and the Spanish royal family used to stay there when they visited the city. But the museum is closed right now, and the building itself appears to be somehow deserted. Number 5. Tibidabo Although Mount Tibidabo is the highest peak in the Serra de Cosarola range, it's only 512 meters high at its highest point. Nonetheless, it provides expansive views of the city and shoreline below. Apart from the vista, two other prominent attractions for tourists are the church and the hilltop amusement park. The amusement park, which was constructed at the end of the 1800s, offers guests the chance to experience thrills along with breathtaking views of Barcelona. For thrill seekers of all ages, there are six distinct zones with thrilling rides and entertainment options. Long weekend holidays and weekends are the only times the park is open. You can either hike all the way to the top of Tibidabo or opt for a combination route that uses a tram and a funicular. Take the Tram Via Blau, which winds up past many of the most incredible mansions in the city. Change to the funicular train halfway up the mountainside, which ascends directly to Tibidabo's top. Number 4. Bar Paradiso After a long day of exploring the city, isn't it time to grab a glass of a refreshing cocktail and hang out with your travel buddies? Step inside Bar Paradiso, a classy, award-winning restaurant hidden behind a tiny pastrami shop's refrigerator door. The bar is unlike any neighborhood you've ever been to. It's been named the best bar in the world. It feels comfortable and is softly lit. Each cocktail has a shape listed on the menu so you can see how it'll appear. However, you might be taken aback by the fact that a large number of the drinks are served without glasses. Additionally, as the space tends to fill up quickly, so arrive early. Try Monk, the sister restaurant of Paradiso, if you're looking for somewhere roomier. Number 3. La Paloma The iconic La Paloma reopens one of the most iconic sessions, Los Tigres del Raval, which for decades drew hundreds of participants to the dance floor every week after 16 years of closure. Following this, this location is now known by many as Barcelona's Temple of Dance. As a matter of fact, everything appears to just open yesterday. An orchestra, club nights, and live concerts are the three appealing disciplines that keep their evenings going. Its wonderful ballroom also gives a distinctive sensation to anything happening inside. Also, make sure to snap a photo with the Raval cat while you're exploring this lively neighborhood. This round-eyed cat on the Rambla de Raval is a work of art by Fernando Botero, a Colombian artist, and is quite charming. Number 2. El Born There's one neighborhood in the city that sticks out from the rest, even with all the other distinctive and lovely neighborhoods. El Born is a neighborhood full of elegant boutiques, some of which specialize in selling monochromatic, locally produced clothing. Magatsima Scola is the best bottle shop in the neighborhood, offering an extensive selection of reasonably priced local and foreign wines. Additionally, go to Legum's Queets and join the locals in line outside to purchase freshly prepared chickpeas served in newspaper cones. Number 1. Casa Botlo Casa Botlo is one of the most well-known Gaudi structures in Barcelona. It has a stunning exterior and amazing interiors thanks to the building's excellent restoration work done by the building's owners. Add in the VR audio guide, visiting this place is a must for any traveler. The building is the culmination of the architect's work, containing nearly all of his signature elements. Since this is a privately owned structure, a sizable portion of ticket sales support the ongoing preservation efforts that are necessary. The Takeaway All in all, Barcelona offers countless options for dining, leisure, and entertainment, 
with new attractive locations and destinations popping up literally almost every month. Use this list as a guide to help you figure out how to make the most out of your time in this city. If you're also curious about the best restaurants being situated in Barcelona, simply click on the video in the top right corner. See you in the next video.